let them uh, go ahead and start. Hey guys, how is Wednesday treating you? Hi Scott, uh, thank you for the intro and uh, fantastic Wednesday to everyone. Brad, how's your audio? My audio is good. You're coming through loud and clear, and I will agree. What a what a Wednesday it was. All right. Well, you know, Brad, it's time to turn the machines back on. <laughs> turn the machines back on. But ladies and gentlemen, before we do that, we like to give you our standard disclaimer. When we start the machines, please be aware that Trade Ideas is not a registered investment advisor. All the information that you hear from us are just suggestions based on our technology and should never, ever, ever be construed as investment advice for which you must have a registered investment advisor. Okay, Brad, ready to turn them on? Turn the machine on. Let's do it. Okay, guys, we always like to start with an intro and there's so many new faces and people here today and we love that you're dealing with a patriot business here made and run by usa developers and entrepreneurs we have no outside capital you are our venture partners that means is through your uh subscription patronage we become the amazing technology leaders we have been we're going to be one of the very very few firms to be on the Inc. 5000 four years, uh, four, five years in a row coming 2021. That's definitely a guarantee. So it's a very rarefied field. And we do that because we innovate all the time. There's no finish line. You guys are the beneficiaries of this innovation. And we're very excited for this webinar because, boy, do we have something to show you. All right, we usually start with a little Pepe action and the glasses, talking about the pattern of winning and what does it look like? Well, today, Brad, I wanna go a little bit deep undercover. You know, we're not gonna be looking so much at the charts per se, although we will showcase some of them, no doubt. But we're gonna be talking about the very recent uh, innovative upgrade that we've made to Trade Ideas Brokerage Plus. Big stuff happening, everybody clean the ears. And uh, for those of you who are not subscribers, watch your wrists. When I say stuff like this, there's this tendency to go right for the wallet. We get a lot of support uh, emails about sprained wrists. Brad, you hate fielding those. I mean, I even have to pull my wallet out in these times here. So. Do you know how many times we've refunded? Watch me go. Do you know how many times we've refunded Brad? It's embarrassing. <laughs> like after like, over 20, I'm like, will you stop doing that? can't help it this is um this is my first webinar of uh 2021 and and as such you know we've always said we've been in business for 17 years right but i think it's rolled over now 18 years in business here 18 years okay we'll take it i love it that's right we're i need to update all those uh powerpoints all right i'm going to minimize pepe and our presentation and bring you um uh, the good stuff okay so what i'm going to do here is I'm gonna to switch to a different uh, channel, just to make things a little bit easier for the folks, Brad. You know, I swim in the deep advanced waters. Um, Let's walk before we run. We, we must walk before we run. So um, I'm gonna talk about a couple of things that you're gonna be seeing that this is really, again, a gigantic disclosure is coming. It's like X-Files stuff here. So when you go to connect in Brokerage Plus, and for those of you that, that don't know Brokerage Plus, which right here says is disconnected, is our brokerage trading interface. Trade Ideas is not only the leader in bringing you ideas, which we absolutely are, but we are the leader in helping you get those ideas into action, where you turn those ideas into trades, because again, you understand things better, you're able to navigate them better with our system, create risk parameters better, you're gonna do everything better. But let's start with the basics. You gotta connect. Before we get too excited, I'm gonna show you all the options here. Alpaca, E-Trade, Interactive Brokerage. Uh, very important right here, I'm gonna start here. Trade Ideas, Simulated Trading, and before, I mean, and, after, and below that, of course, TD Ameritrade. So I'm connecting to my Trade Ideas, Simulated Trading account. Um, I want to pause here for a minute and just say something very, very important. Lots of people come into the equities market. And again, this is not the first time I've said this on a Q&A webinar. Many people come into the equities market with this 
sad experience of the guru where, you know, even from the old days, Brad, of the Hawaii real estate, you know, buy real estate with no money down. You know, borrow from your 401k or your life insurance. So those guys, the Hawaii real estate guys, you, you have had a bunch of them in the stock markets, pretty much all a scam. And the problem is you have these expectations that because you can see opportunities, you can instantly act on them and make money. Sort of like the setup that they did for investors in the dot-com days, where it was like looking like it was really too good to be true and what happened, it was. So with trade ideas, the most important thing that you're gonna use when you start interacting with brokerage plus get, before you get ready to become real rich and quick, you're gonna learn how to do it in simulated trading mode. We have the most advanced and yet easy to use simulated trading environment. You can do anything in the simulated trading environment in terms of placing trades, automating your trades, doing lots of different stuff. And if you are a premium subscriber, of course, you can in fact automate Holly, okay? By simply right-clicking on the strategies, whoops, and uh, and enabling them. Again, you can set that on, you can turn it off and all in paper trading mode. Brad, I sometimes laugh at myself. That's <laughs> pretty funny. So, you know, in addition with the automation, not only can you automate Holly, but you can also, for those of you that create your own strategies, maybe back test it to optimize it, you can then take that strategy you created and automate that as well. Right. So you highlight them and you hit enable 12 selected <laughs> strategies on the AI. They become active when the market's open in simulated mode. And you will get to know and experience very vividly what it's like to have a system automatically trade for you. One that you never had to create. It was all done by us. And again, it's just the coolest way to get into the market because yeah and it's not it's not just your entries either right it, it manages your risk for you it will take profits for you if you if you set that up and configure it accordingly it's the best uh teacher you can have because it, it really is an expert system all bundled and different people interact with it differently it's an amazing set of tools to help you finally take advantage of the things that you're going to see but the reason i'm bringing up and the reason i'm bringing up uh, this trade ideas uh, simulated trading is this is your first stop in your uh, experience with brokerage plus so many people we've had again we have very high customer growth rates and um, lots of people want to just jump right into it and throw real money at it without any experience again it would be very simply like trying to drive in a NASCAR race because you have a driver's license for Grocery shopping. I mean, yes, you can drive a car, but NASCAR is a little bit different, right, Brad? There's the apex of the turn and some other stuff. A little it's bit different. Um, so in terms of Thomas's quick question, does Holly trade from one's actual funded account? You can absolutely have Holly trade for you in any of your funded account. And this is the part where I'm going to really just jump right into the juicy meat of it, okay? Um, so right now, as you can see, it says Brokerage Plus connected to Trade Ideas Simulated Trading. You're ready to rock and roll, okay? You can also, when, done, when, when assigned properly, you can use these buttons to drag them into uh, positions to buy and sell. And again, I haven't, Brad, I should have done that before the webinar, but I hadn't done it. Um, you can set this up to do anything you want, buy 100 shares, buy $2,000. You can just customize these buttons and then drag them and drop them on your chart. You can also have a button that has a, two orders in once. For example, if you buy, you can say, make sure you put a stop at the low of the day or at the smart stop. You can, again, you can do lots of very good customized sort of stuff here. And all of this is, number one, accessible in our paper trading simulated mode, which is like none other in this world. You have to really see it to believe it, including the beautiful buttons here, Brad. Just beautiful that you can take on any position. You can say flatten or half. Or if it's working, double. Or if it goes, start, goes from negative to positive or positive to negative, you can go reverse. You can try to save the spread. 
You can just get into the longs or just the shorts and all at a touch of a button. Great stuff for you to work on in simulated trading mode practice. But what happens once you're ready? Once you're ready to rock and roll, a couple of things are going on. So I have my interactive brokerage account linked. Trade ideas. I don't have it up right now, but I can basically hit it and I can then ask for Thomas's question, for example. I can have Holly trade in my interactive brokerage account. So interactive brokerage, many of you have seen this. We've had this connected before. You've seen me do it. This is, uh, Brad, maybe you remind me, how long have we had IB connection? We've had that one for a while. That was obviously the first one that we put together, but over a year, right? I mean, yeah, two over a year. But we are very proud to announce that the latest beta that we just released, right, Brad? Maybe even throw a link in the, um, in the chat. Have you, have you confirmed that it's on the beta? Oh, shit. You keep talking, Brad. I'll confirm and I'll it, drop it. it no, it is. I've read it. Yeah, it's in the beta. Okay. It's got to be because Julio said so. Let's get into a fight. All right. Well, let me drop it in. Okay. So back to my wonderful presentation, fantastic presentation. I was trying to say is that interactive brokers, while an amazing brokerage, has one disadvantage. Okay, um, they are still in this particular configuration a paid-for brokerage. But we have now, in our latest beta, added E-Trade and TD Ameritrade to allow you to trade commission-free on Brokerage Plus. Let me rephrase that again. E-Trade and TD Ameritrade now work in the latest beta release of trade ideas. And they're both commission-free brokerages. So this is a very big step. This opens uh, things up for everybody. Uh, thank you, Fred. I was going to say it kind of like that, but I'm moving my hands, hands up and down while I'm saying it. So I agree with Fred right there. Brad, do you want to second the notion? We can have like a, a toast. Uh, good job, Fred, but I'm still, I'm still uh, um, confirming. I do want to make sure. <laughs> so funny. By the way, if for some reason it's not on this link, and I guarantee you it is because I download Brad. If I did it, isn't it? You know, I already have it. Um, so anyways, uh, Jim, IB is not commission free. They're fairly inexpensive, but the way we connect to them and they're trying to get us on their commission free API, but you know, with the powers that be, it's never easy to do a switch. And we've been, with, been there a long time, but with E-Trade and with TD Ameritrade, we already started working directly to interface with their commission free trading API. So you will have there's, uh, I believe, Brad, isn't there either a document or a video that shows people, maybe you can throw in the PDF that uh, Chris made, you know, the document for E-Trade Connect. I thought that he gave it, and if not, then we will have it shortly. Well, well I might be the bearer of bad news, but I did just download the latest beta and it's not there. So, like I said, I think we're in our final phase of testing here. Uh, the build has been made. I must be, so he must have put it in the development test bill. Just yeah, that's what that. he did do. Okay, but, so but it'll be, I know we've been saying it'll be ready for a while now. It is. It is right here on the doorstep. Of, by the weekend, I mean we do, guys. I got the beta. Um, I'm just didn't realize it was the development beta, which is all good. But the point is simply that it's done. In the next day or two, then the beta will have it. Um. Well, Fred, you know, I, I think they've done it before in some other ways, but in terms of, in terms of just what we are going to be able to do for TD Ameritrade clients, I mean, we're going to take their experience to a level they've never imagined, ever. I mean, you can take Thinkorswim, put it on the Starship Enterprise, launch it at warp speed, and teleport into Star Wars. Did I get that right, Brad? Yeah. Um, it's it's going to be amazing because the things you will do on our system, again, both with E-Trade and TD Ameritrade, is just be able to experiment and see data uh, you have never seen before. Number one, again, look at how we track the PNL. 
we're giving you feedback on our calendar, which again, even my, in my development mode, I don't want to exactly show you, but uh, the idea is that we're creating a journal for you for all of your trades. Um, very easily, we'll be able to make that uh, a document that you could load up into TurboTax or some other tools to, again, just make all of your trading stuff dialed in where you really need to, where you're worried about being the captain of the ship but not the gopher or not the guy that's moving the sails around. So um, this is a very big thing. And we, and as we've said before, the next beta release, Brad, will happen. Uh, without a doubt, without a doubt. Yeah. So this is the thing that uh, we wanted to really kind of, you know, make sure you guys know it's worth to get on it now. Make sure, I don't know, Brad, are you familiar with like, is there anything that they need from E-Trade or TD Ameritrade in terms of permissioning or, or does it just automatically from this point on? No, it's actually, it's actually a lot easier than the little finagling that you need to do to get the IB connection to work. And once you do, do that initial login, it is really just a one button click. You don't have to do it. Like with IB, you have to log into Trader Workstation, you know, finagle with that. But with E-Trade and with Thinkorswim, it's a quick web login. Once you do that, it's a cookie that's installed on your computer for a period of time. So you don't need to do that each time. Okay. Um, you don't need premium to trade E-Trade. You just need premium to do AI on your E-Trade account if you wanted to. But if you wanted to do your own trading, and if, I mean, with our technology, and if you wanted to even create your own systems, and automate them, you can do that with the E-Trade connection. So the premium people get to, number one, again, interact with the AI, both in simulated and in non-simulated mode, and they can have a trade for them. And, they, and I wanna jump real quick into that because people ask us, you know, what's up with the AI, you know, what's it all about? Um, and I just wanna kind of show you a little bit, you know, of what was going on today and you get these trades and these trades are designed and by the way sometimes obviously the two systems find the same stock okay um and this happened uh here and 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 they expose you to moves and interesting uh things that you rarely will see but at the same time again you can experience them and also trade around them so uh, let me just blow this up a little bit. This is Brad. I mean, what an interesting, like, beautiful call in terms of the just the directional statistical acuity of the signal. So I mean, I think that, I think you entered in this thing five minutes after the open, and within five to ten minutes, you had hit the profit target. Right. I mean, that's called thank you, and I'm done. But then another signal came in for this one uh, an hour later which was like over here, okay? And you were like, okay, well, I killed it on this. Maybe I'll get in again. And it sort of floundered a little bit, you know? Um, and, it, and it ultimately hit your stop. But Brad, what do we have inside the software that's so cool when this happens? What happens yeah, when we, this Well, happens? we've got the re-entry signals and that is so that you don't necessarily miss something that, that starts moving back in, the dire in your desired direction. Yeah. Um, So what is that? It got out at 9.32, but at 9.45, it gave you that re-entry. Why don't you show that re-entry column right there? Uh, right. right there. Yeah, so that lets you know there that at 9.45, it started to pass up through towards its entry point, its original entry point, and so you got giving you an idea, in. not telling you to get back in, but telling you that it is moving back there, and if you're so inclined, you might want to consider it. Right. So, Brad, you know, we, it's interesting. I love this looking at Thomas Murphy's uh, uh, Q&A. And it's so funny because, yes, you know, it can seem intimidating, Thomas, but here's the thing. One of the things you think you've seen me do, which is a total sleight of hand, which I never did, is I never configured anything. This is already ready out the get-go. There's nothing that you have to do here. It's already done for you. This is a channel bar. For me to be where I am right now, I simply click on the... Uh, Omni AI channel and this appeared for me. 
there was and when, and when you started the day, this particular window, that strategy trades window was blank. No, no ideas have been generated in the yeah. AI. And in real time, when these ideas get manifested, they'll display in this window here from which you can then participate or not. Correct. Um, and, but I do want everybody. Um, and I would never want to make somebody who feels uncomfortable think that they have to try to do it. That's never, ever the case. You've got to want to do it. You've got to like it. You know, if you, I'll give you just some highlights. If you like something like poker or if you like blackjack or billiards, um, you know, things like that, things where we sometimes, I mean, obviously chess, but I would say a little bit different in that chess has a very specific like you can remember all the chess combinations. The beautiful thing in the market is like, there's a new chess board every day, right, Brad? It's kind of like surfing. A no new chess board every stuff. day with repeating patterns, right? You, you see things repetitively. Yeah, and, and in fact, again, we kind of have a flow for you. And I'm just gonna show you a little bit so you, people can see that there's just um, a little bit of a method to it. Number one, there's a channel bar, right? So whatever it is that you're interested in, you want to look up, it's all right here. So I can click on a channel like After Hours, okay? And I'm now, I'm dialed in. Notice whatever channel you click on, there's an on button, like on your TV. Um, Bill, I'll answer your question, but uh, you don't really need it is what I'm trying to say. And I'll explain why in a minute. But so here you are after hours, you're tracking what's going on. Are you in any of these positions? You know, something that you may want to contemplate, figuring out why, you know, something's moving or not. Like a marathon time group, it's, it's something that I trade. I'm like, okay, nice. It had a down day today, but it's moving up higher after hours, okay? Um, same thing with uh, pre-market, okay? So when you start the day, notice again, I'm not setting anything up. It's like a TV. You know, this is your morning coffee. You're going to see what's gapping up, what's gapping down, pre-market movers. Um, and everything is live. There's nothing to configure. Nothing. You don't have to configure anything. You see it right away. Um, something really nice we've added is the country flag for the chart of origin. So this company is, is Israeli, for example. And as stocks move, um, your, you know, you can, whatever you click on, this is a U.S. company. This is another U.S. company. Uh, you'll just know who you're dealing with. What is the counterpart? You can also go in the profile and you have the website link okay, of the of the stock. So now there's like there's a news tab, so you can see what's the news and on the detail. Again, only if you're interested, you can just go right to what's going on. And this is for all of them. So. Marathon patent, uh, this one. The idea is that you now have a way to see more information. And, and Brad, remember we Julio probably didn't even see this version of that same yeah, issue. Yeah, I'm, I'm notating that right now. We do lots of stuff. We Q&A, we find things, <laughs> um, lots of cool stuff. So we well, just... Recently. I would say go to the profile tab real quick, and if you go there, you'll see that flag. Normally, the flag would appear here, but that description so long. If you hover over the flag, Taiwan. it'll tell exactly what, what country it's from. Right, so it's a Taiwanese company. So, Thomas, right now, uh, we focus on stocks, so that we have a partnership uh, with uh, Tasty Works, and I think there's going to be some additional other stuff for that. But i got to say, Thomas, if, you know, if you're saying you're – technologically challenged, you know, messing with e-minis and uh, micros, <laughs> you're just adding two more layers of complication. Stock's really easy. I mean, when we do stocks, we do warrants, obviously, because they trade just like a stock. So the idea here is the routine. So after you're done with your uh, pre-market, one of the, if you're gonna be trading on Brokerage Plus, for example, um, you could start right here where it says, shall we play a game from the great movie War Games, okay? And right away, what you see here is a window that's customized already for your brokerage plus. You have some ideas 
You have what's called trade candidates, which we designed for you. Just things that are looking very interesting from an algorithmic point of view. I want you to keep an eye on. Anything that you like, you can heart just like you do on Twitter or all the other terrible social media companies. Um, and that puts these stock symbols into another channel automatically called stocks I like. Okay, so these are all the stocks that you yourself have clicked on for whatever reason. Okay, so the software helps to keep what you've been interested in in front of your eyes. Okay, and if you don't like something, right, like here, uh, NES Environmental Solutions, I'm over you. Okay, um, it's gone. Once again, no configuration, right click, remove, whatever, it's just gone. So something else that we added is so that you can see if you're looking at our stuff on social media and people are posting the single stock window and just for yourself, you know the date. So that if you wanna show So if you wanna show somebody some information from this uh, window, you will have a uh, timestamp and a date. So today's the 13th. So people will know what it is that you're talking about and how relevant it is to, you know, what's going on right now. So we have that, we have a cloud channel. And this cloud channel is all the things that you can save to our server environment so that it's kind of like in our uh, web services, the TWS, Trade Ideas uh, Web Services environment where we keep it all in our cloud. And so you can just go to a laptop anywhere, log, you know, download Trade Ideas or go to it on the web and access your cloud links and open everything up. Also, it gives us a very easy way for us to share information with our clients. All these windows are shareable, so we can right click and I can say save and share to the cloud. I can save and share, it creates this link. I can copy it and then I can paste it like I'm about to. It's a pretty flexible tool. What Dan did is he just shared the trade candidates window, but you could you could share a couple windows. You could share your whole oh, desktop yeah. if you want. Yeah. Um, here I'll show another one that I really you know watch a lot on a different monitor called the biggest gainers, and I got this window from our biggest gainers channel. Because you have a channel for virtually everything, Brad. I mean, what does it look like? Is it the rocket one? Let me see here. I'm squinting, you know me. Uh, to explosive winners, okay? So you have the biggest gainers today. So if you want to find something, right, it's not that difficult because we, because we're the pros, guys. We already broken it up for you. We see what's really like kicking butt. Go to biggest gainers today, week, year and this one is just going to be bringing them up the whole time again you can share the information if you like what you see boom like it you're going to remember it but another beauty okay is that let me find uh something else here like vault ah beautiful okay vault brad i like this i mean first of all all of you should like this kind of pattern it's a big move on uh large volume, it's very interesting. I'm not saying it's continuing, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm so interested in this, I'm doing two things. I'm gonna like it, okay? So it's gonna be tracked for me. Then I'm gonna right click here, I'm gonna create a price alert at 3.17. Say, so, volt is electric. You know, you can be funny. For your own sake, you should do whatever you want here. Boom, now it's here. Let me just move it up. There it is, okay? I, I, you can, what I'm saying is here, I made it, but it was already within the range of, even though it closed just a little bit below 280, but um, I can just pull it right up and change it just by dragging and dropping, okay? And, and I'm kind of a price alert nut, so I, I like to set that that upper threshold. If it breaks away, I want to I want to be alerted to it. But if this thing pulls back to like maybe 250 or something, I also want to know about that, and I want to pick that as a long, right? So this is something that I do a lot. Um, but it's teach his own. Everybody kind of uses it a little bit differently. So I'm just showing you what Brad is talking about, and I've discussed this a lot with his therapist. <laughs> um, he has lots of issues. But here, see, Brad's waiting for this thing to come back, and he can even 
go a little bit lower, like right around, you know, you can even move it with up and down arrows, right, Brad? I don't know if you can. Can you? <laughs> no, I just made that up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. So here, let me just do it right here above. Okay, 234. So here, we're looking for that big pullback, which is fine, or the breakout, which is fine. We don't really care because we can manage the risk. Um, and that's what you're doing. Uh, Ron, the only thing that's not a trailing indicator is your eyes and AI. Every indicator is trailing. And uh, again, there's no magic. There's just decisions and risk management. And what we're pointing you to is how you can get to the decisions bigger, badder than the other guy, faster, okay? So we've been tracking lots of SPACs. SPACs are where the action is. And in fact, we have a channel called the blank check channel just for you to watch this facts. This is where the action is. This is where so much of the alpha right now is happening, okay? You can see what's up the most. You can just look at it by price. You know, change it to what is this? See, code chain, new Continental Limited. And again, when they start to go, you can just create simple alerts and say SPAC is moving. And um, this is about as uh, non lagging as you can get. Okay. Because when this starts to go on the volume that you want it to go, uh, you're going to like it. So, China, this is where this company is from. And again, the nice thing is you know what you're dealing with, too. Okay. We found that important because there are, uh, they don't have the same reporting requirements uh, for Chinese stocks. And uh, totally. we, we found that pretty important to put out there so that you at least know what you're dealing with in a really quick manner. Right. And, and again, you want to be aware of the SPACs. And one of the ways to do it is watch the channel, like them, set some price alerts for ones that seem interesting. I'd say seems interesting. Um, and say, but what I wanted to really just reconvey is that notice all of this is done for you. It's done. Okay. Aside from you just doing minor, minor things, Everything is here for you to try out, momentum. Again, without you having to spend a whole lot of time learning how to do anything. Although, as we work towards the um, end of our presentation, we'll show you our uh, education schedule, and it is none other. Oh, George, you're missing the boat, man. You've got to really, 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 really be on that channel. And and we uh, again we we programmatically add them, don't we, Brad? Or at least with, with the, the the proper modifier. And we might even miss a couple here and there, but I'm pretty sure that's programmatic. Programmatic in a manual kind of way. I like that. All right, so Bill, look, why do you not need to worry about the bid and ask? Okay. So people that worry about the bid and ask are scalping. Scalping is a process that does not make money, although many people claim that it does. The reason it doesn't make money is because your wins are so small and you have to keep repeating that. But what happens is statistically, like in blackjack, although you might start good, you're gonna run into a terrible streak and most likely the market will remain irrational longer than you stay solid. Looking for bids and offers, is a legacy thing that people got stuck in their heads that is not relevant for today's market because you're going for many points. Okay, you're going for five or six points. And if you're not doing that, you need to reconsider your trading. Okay, so and if that's the case, um, right. And then Bill, by the way, this is not to demean your question at all because you bring up a very good question, but we try to tell people there's things that you used to need that you do not need anymore. Let, let me let me show you though, bring up your brokerage plus real quick and I'll just kind of show you real quick how you can do it um, inside of your brokerage plus window. Now this is the uh, simulated trading, but if you're connected to your broker, these would all provide valid data points. Go into your header and right click and bring in your columns. Or yeah, anywhere. Just go to columns and in here you'll see bid and ask and you can add those right here. 
You can also do it through a custom filter, custom formula in a top list or alert window. And that's something that's a little bit more complex, probably not for today's webinar, but uh, suffice to say, we do have a, a great ability to add custom filters, manipulate the current data points that we have, uh, in addition to adding a few more and included in those are, are bid and ask. Right. But I wanted to philosophically just say, for example, people ask us, why don't you have level two data? And we're saying, well, number one, you don't need it. And if you're stuck looking at it, it's just a distraction from money management. There's nothing going on in level two should concern you that you can't see on a chart. Okay. If you're not trading chart parameters, like five minute parameters, then, then, then literally you are spinning your wheels, you're digging holes and filling them back up. And we just don't recommend it no matter what a guru tells you. And, um, and once you're in that position, you know, once you've established the position using the bid ask, whatever you're doing, once you've established it, we really find that the equity curve on your, on your brokerage plus interface does a much better job of allowing you to manage the profitability of those positions. No doubt. Um, so Chris's question is, can you show how to link trade ideas with a broker? So when you open trade ideas, uh, it'll come up to a certain channel. Let's say I'm going to move this away for a second. And um, let's say I'm in the Omni AI channel. Okay, so this channel right now has nothing to do with uh, brokerage plus other than you're kind of watching the the AI. So you're like, okay, you know what? I like what I'm seeing here. I want to you know, start looking at it to maybe start doing some paper trading. Um, there's different ways to do it, and maybe Brad will correct one of my approaches, but I'm kind of simple, Brad. I would click here. Okay, shall we play a game? Brokerage Plus. The reason I would uh, um, do that is obviously because, well, right here it says this is the channel that's designed for Brokerage Plus. So since my Brokerage Plus was open already, I moved it. It's empty right here. And if it wasn't open, which for you, the first time it wouldn't be, you would see this window. And it would be kind of like this, empty. Okay. Yeah, and another thing you could do is we have that brokerage plus button up at the top on the toolbar. That's going to automatically log you into the simulated trading. It's not going to automatically log you into live because one, we're going to have multiple live connections and it doesn't know which one you want. But this is a great way to get into simulated, automatically connected. Right. So your first interface with this channel, again, and there's multiple ways. This is always here and the channel bar is always here. But the, the reason why we have this, guys, is so that we kind of set up an optimum environment for you so that you can get it the most without having to mess with anything. So you got your price alerts, which you will probably be using. You've got your single stock window. Weather, you know, like when I see a chart like this, by the way, it's pulled back from 16, stopped at 12, and it's turning around. I say I like it. So I come over here, create a price alert, and I say, I like this. Okay, so this is one of the ways that we interact with here. And so this is ready for you to trade um, when you're ready. So the first thing that I do, and uh, Chris, in my sort of like coming back to the end, to the beginning rather, excuse me, I connect to Trade Idea Simulated Trading. This is identical, relatively speaking, to your brokerage connection, except for the following. So let me disconnect here once again. It's empty. So if you go to interactive brokers, the connection process is that you click on this once you have already opened your interactive brokerage trader workstation. So you've already logged in, you opened your interactive brokerage workstation, and you've gotten permission from interactive brokerage to do what's called API trading. By the way, all of this is documented, of course, Brad, right, somewhere? Yeah, it's all documented, and we also put together a couple of good videos that, that outline right. it. If you're a reader, great. If you like videos, that'll work too. Right, so once you've had that connected in the background, you click connect and boom, it appears, okay? The E-Trade and TD Ameritrade will work exactly the same way. You click on them, uh, except you don't have to have anything downloaded, so you don't need any E-Trade software for this or TD Ameritrade software. You're just gonna have to log in with a specific security and encryption code, um, and that's it. And then you're logged in and you're ready to trade, and it'll tell you connected to E-Trade, connected to 
uh, TD Ameritrade or whatever it is that you are connected to. Okay, um, Angelo, make sure you're on this channel, Brokerage Plus, or click this in SIM mode. Okay, and there should be a connect. The connect is right here. Okay, and and if and if you don't have that, make sure you download the latest production version of the software just to give yourself, uh, you know, make sure you're on the right version. Uh, Chris, I do not think you need an API permission from TD. That's only for uh, IB. And again, I was giving an example of the most complicated first TD Ameritrade and E-Trade are pretty simple. You will just have to log in and there is a secure login process. But just the connection thing is first it's empty and then you go to connect, you select which broker. And, and I would say before you do your broker, start with simulated trading, always say that. Um, and you're ready to go. And you can actually then look, let me take you just finally to the next level. And, and we're getting close to the end here, but I want to just give you con some con concepts here. So this is me connected to Trade Ideas Simulator Trading. And in the theme of war games, you know, again, we're old guys, so we like older movies. So you get war game stuff. So we have this one called the Whopper, okay? So the Whopper, guys, is two brokerage plus windows. And the reason somebody would even have that, okay, is just let me explain because it's super cool, is that in one window, you can automate a strategy. And in the other window, you can trade off of that strategy. Okay, now this works amazing with uh what we're about to add which is multiple simulated trading accounts in this particular case i'm kind of describing the use case of trading live with your brokerage account off of some simulated trades that are showing you good pnl pnl is the best indicator we're the only ones that bring this to you where you trade off of pnl um, it's just an amazing concept guys and it's a complete game changer for how people interact with the stock market um, so Matt, your question in terms of is it possible to have a demonstration with pattern alerts? Um, shoot support an email for that. We don't get into the alert nitty gritty on the Q and A. We sort sort of stay uh, fifty thousand feet to make sure because what happens is if we get into pattern alerts, a lot of people aren't interested in that, and it's not that they're not interesting, but we've sort of gone beyond the well do you have this type of alert or that type of alert or whatever we're at the execution phase where alerts meets action okay and that's where we think is the sweet spot for all of you you know because if you spend too much time saying oh i need candlesticks or no you know what i need moving averages or what i need is the ichimoku scratchy you know you're going to waste your time. In golf, they call this paralysis by analysis. It has destroyed careers of pros. You don't want to do it. What you want to do is get to the best thing for you. And again, you can start with your patterns, and we have plenty of them. But I'm just saying, uh, shoot a support email, and we'll hook you up with uh, a demo on that. George, yeah, all the information you use, you see all the auto trails of the orders, you see everything, you know, there's, everything is in here. Um, you, you can drill down into it all. You can assign, you know, which account, like for example, obviously I'm only logged into a simulated trading account, but I could have my simulated trading account here and my interactive brokerage account here. And as I see the system trading and trying to give me some PNL, I see by what's working today or what's not sometimes. And by the way, in the what's not, I create alerts because this could be a good turnaround candidate. It really looks that way. Um, so when it re-enters stuff, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm always the first. So Lewis, again, it's the same thing. We have so many different windows that, that can show you layouts or uh, breakouts. The best breakouts are ones that work, and those are different all the time, and it's different per user depending on their particular risk uh, parameters. Every trade has to do with risk, meaning like 
how much can you lose? And that doesn't mean like I can lose it all and still be cool, although that gives you more at bats. But the idea is that you know some people may want to put in the kind of trade where they, in any one trade, they only want to lose, let's say, $200 or $300, or potentially it's percentage points or just points. Those are things are all individual preferences. But as uh, was stated in the answer, there's a momentum channel, there's a breakout channel, there's explosive winner channel. All of those are have slightly different flavored breakouts. It's almost like going to Breckenridge and then going to Vail. You're going to have great slopes on both mountains, but they are two different mountains. Um, George, I think right. Only if you want, but because you're so since unlike uh, interactive brokerage, you will not have to be logged in to your TD Ameritrade. So yes, all of your, for example, if you went to your TD Ameritrade website login, every trade you make on trade ideas is obviously visible on all of your trade uh, uh, of your TDA monitoring mechanisms because in essence you made the trade on TDA, not on trade ideas. We're just a gateway. So you see it all, but do you need to see it on trade ideas like and have it open at the same time on TDA is totally up to you. Does that make sense? Uh, Lewis, shoot an email for that. We have tons of different statistics on that. And again, um, it's not simply black and white uh, winners versus losers. We have kind of drill downs in all sorts of different uh, statistical categories. And you're going to want to see different things because different AIs do different things. And trading it together, again, is yet another way to do it. Um, we, we're very, very deep on our support in terms of being able to provide pretty quick answers to all of this. So in summary, guys, because we're kind of at the wrap up mode, um, you've got the next release beta will have E-Trade and TD Ameritrade via. Your simulated trading is like none other. Um, you definitely want to experience it and try automation with it. You can try things you just aren't able to try other ways. Um, highly suggested. Channels, you can customize your own channel. You can create your own channels. So these two channels I created myself. You can, so basically you have a customized channel bar here and lots to choose from, earnings. So it's not just pure momentum. There's, you know, the fundamental aspects of it. Social media, what stock, what's talking about, stock surging, short squeezes, um, cannabis stocks. And then of course, like you can even do drill down analysis per sector. So these are all the sectors and what they're doing and to see which ones are winning or losing. So at the bottom, it gives you a cylinder saying out of all of these companies, are there more winners and losers? So you can just gravitate to where the money's going. Consumer staples, real estate, uh, utilities um, versus energy, et cetera. Right, George, so the, the next beta release, which will be in the next few days, I just have an early development release, we'll have it. So you're, you're a day or two away. At the, at the worst, Monday. So how about this? We do this Q&A webinar Wednesday. It'll definitely be there before the Q&A webinar. I'll be like, told you guys, see? Right, Brad? If it's not, I won't be there at the webinar. How's that? We're going to have Scott do the webinar all by himself, poor guy. Come on. Brad, don't, don't, don't scare Scott. Yeah, it'll definitely um, be. Right, so remember, you did, don't have to configure things. This is our advantage to you, okay? You can just drill down and have fun with the, uh, the, the way that we designed it. Look at things and any window, you can pop out by just duplicating it. You can pin it, meaning uh, if you move it away now, it'll stay in the layout. Uh, so there's so much flexibility for you guys to get the most information quickly. Nobody else does it this way. Um, I'm going to switch back to our presentation to finish up. So from the point of view of uh, Pepe and pattern of winning, what does it look like? It looks like innovating fast enough to take your brokerage experience to the next level, adding uh, zero commission brokers, adding simulated trading to your uh, account where you can practice automation with AI or without, 
having a complete uh, curriculum of education available online, but even throughout the day, if you're just simply window shopping or looking to interact with trade ideas in a more human way, we have Barry's Trading Room. Barry Anderson, one of our team members, trade-ideas.com forward slash trading room runs his room every day, uh, you know, like the mail, rain or shine. Barry's room is on and he's there personally. He'll speak to you. He's putting on real trades, shows you a simulated account that's trading as well. And there's a whole meritocracy of good traders there that um, help one another. And I'm sure you will find it useful. Many people go there for a continuing education. It's like you had a couple of rough patches, come to Barry's room, straighten you out. We publish all sorts of educational material for our uh, viewers. There's a book called Earning Season. I believe our team member, Sean McLaughlin, uh, does that. Trade-ideas.com forward slash uh, earnings. Take a look at that. Our education, you can go to our website, you can sign up for support sessions continuously. So there's a full on education curriculum all the time of trade ideas. Not like your you know, guru pump and dump, but literally like, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna learn the basics? Do you wanna get into the medium? Do you wanna learn how to write your own formulas? Everything is there. Um, so this is, this is everyone's uh, keystone. You come through here, you're always going to be supported, trade-ideas.com forward slash live. And you can just book your appointment. It's that easy. Fred, uh, candlesticks are already built inside, and it's not five minutes. It's done in real time. So, we, again, we're better than everything that most of you can come up with. Uh, so, because we've been doing this for 18 years, so if you think that... Uh, in 18 years, we haven't heard it. It's very, very small chance. That's why we've kind of taken it to the next level. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think we get into very, very specific more abuzu candles. Uh, right. I mean, but again, don't get too crazy with the patterns because there's no pattern that wins that you know of. It's a completely different uh, occurrence. You have to change the game all the time. Our AI is designed to be exactly what it is that you want, which is an indicator that works, and it does. And the reason that it works, guys, is because every day it reprocesses data and relearns what would have worked had I known this. Okay, there's no other indicator that does that, no Chinese candlesticks, no RSI, no stochastic, nothing. Okay? So, um, we're a subscription as a service business. You really need to consider if you are able to afford this or not. And, and at the highest, highest rate, our software costs around $2,200 in a year. If that is too much for you um, when you're trading, you're gonna have a hard time because you need a buffer to trade off of. I mean, for education and consumer facing AI and all the power that we give you. And again, you know, you're here kind of seeing a little sample of it. It goes deep. It's kind of like Photoshop. It depends on how, how deep you want to go, but you can make some amazing stuff with it if you want to dive deep. And this is how much everything costs per day. Although we charge of course on a monthly um, or annual basis. So um, standard 390 a day on a monthly, 290 on a yearly premium. Seven and a half dollars a day with no discounts, or six dollars and twenty cents a day for the annual. And of course, today we do give out our promo code of Holly New Year, fifteen percent off of your first month or a year off of Trade Ideas. We do a Friday podcast that's been run by our good uh, buddy Sean McLaughlin and lots of guests and all sorts of interesting information. I used to do that, but uh, CEO work has throwing me back into the pit of the trade ideas, Brad, you know that. Um, please search for us in your uh, podcast app and you will find it, sign up and check it out. We are very easy to get a hold of. Um, we're active on social media, so please like us everywhere you see, at Trade Ideas, at QuantPod, at Today Trader, um, also of course on Facebook, and this is our phone number. And if you have any questions about anything you heard today or in general, please, shoot us an email at info at trade-ideas.com. Uh, Brad, how are we on our, all of our questions? Did I miss anything? I'm just kind of finished up on the last two. 
Um, yes, you can make an appointment. We do have paid one on one training uh, if you want to do that. Um, but I suggest in our webinars, we have um, the trading room. We mentioned that earlier. So there are a lot of good resources for you. George, I love what you said. By the way, that trade of the week, guys, if you're not on that, whoo, that thing's been smoking. It has been smoking fine Cuban cigars interlaced with cognac and cannabis. Brad, does anybody smell those? <laughs> no comment. Okay. Uh, guys, thank you so much. We really are grateful for all of your time. Scott, I think we're good. Uh, let's take it away. True, I didn't make Scott pass out to my Scott, Scott, are you there? All right, well. I was still on mute. Uh, anyways, yeah, the recording will be up later on tonight or tomorrow, and you get an email tomorrow showing you how to find it. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.